Okay, hey, what is going on, guys? Frost here, and we are going to be playing, um, well, first, oh, hey, hey, Sparrow. Anyways, um, guys, a, a while back, one of my, um, subscribers, um, he regularly comments, he's a good dude, he, we were talking about Skyrim and, um, how, how, uh, he hasn't played yet, I was trying to convince him to play it, and, uh, first of all, you guys should know that I am a massive fan of Skyrim. This game, com I got completely absorbed in it when it first came out, even, like, four months after it got came out, I, even this today, I still play it, like, it's a great game. Um, but he, um, the person that uh, comments all the time on the videos, the guy I was just talking about, um, he always says that he's like, uh, dude, sorry, dude, I can't watch your walkthrough because I, want, I don't want to spoil anything, which makes sense. So I said, you know, I'm not going to um, do a, a playthrough or a walkthrough of this game just because it will be a walkthrough because I have played this game intensely. Like, I don't think you guys understand how much I played this when it first came out. Like, I literally subscribed to people that did guides on it, how to do cheats, how to do max at your character, how to do all that stuff, and I did it, like, did tons of characters. Like, I'm a psycho when it comes to this game so I know a lot about this game um, not so much lore wise but more so like just the world itself anyways so uh, he always says that so you know I said well, why don't I do this in a, f in a way that it doesn't spoil anything for you guys the guys who want to um, call us uh, guys who want to watch this um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to call this I think I'm going to call it a Skyrim adventure I don't want to call it adventures in Skyrim just because it sounds a bit cheesy and some probably already came up with that name not to say that Skyrim Adventures doesn't sound cheesy either, but whatever. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm pretty much just going to be going through, like, the storylines after the fact. So, like, uh, if you completed the Mages Guild, you become... This is not a spoiler. You should know this. Um, after you complete the Mages Guild, you become the Headmaster, the College... The prince, whatever the hell you want to call it. Principal, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, so, advisor, not advisor, the main guy up on top who controls everything. You become him, and you got, and you do, you get like little missions and everything like that. And we'll be doing some of that and fun, some of that fun stuff. Uh, just like kind of carrying out our stuff after we finish the game, which most people just stop after they completed the thief skill and etc. So we're gonna ho go ahead and try to complete some of that stuff. Um, but first of all, guys, I want to show you how much I love this game. Just with the how much I did with it now, um, right behind me. Oh, by the way, this is my character. I'll talk about him on a little bit, a little bit later. But this is my house. Um, you get it from the Hearthfire DLC, uh, kind of thing. So I'm keeps teleporting or just fading in and out. It doesn't matter. Uh, but this is my house, guys. Um, and yeah, I want to show you guys everything in my house and also talk to you guys about some of the things that you get. F you know, like the uh, I decorated my house pretty thoroughly. Who's that? I think it's my maid. Anyways, I decorated my house pretty thoroughly. Um, this is my house, guys. Hope you enjoy. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> this is my house, and I'm going to be showing you guys what's inside and all the kind of things. Um, I have completed this game almost 100%. Like, I've got, I've done the Thieves Guild, every sort of guild, except for one, I think, which is at Bard's College. But anyways, so the guys, this is, gonna just, this is just going to be a fun series I can kind of mess around with. Um, oh, I also got an editing software. It's Sony Vegas Pro, which should be fun to edit. I could add special effects on it. I don't think I'll use it while doing walkthroughs, but just fun things like this adventure, whatever, just dicking around in Skyrim will be fun. So, um, yeah, this is what this series is going to be. All, my, this series is also going to be about me just talking about stuff, like stuff that I want to do with the channel and etc. But mostly it's going to be Skyrim, but probably some of the other stuff mixed in there as well. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let me, I want to show you guys my house, and then we'll probably do something after that. But, let's do the house now. Okay, hey guys, you did not just see what I had to go through to try to, like, make everything load in the thing. My house, I like I said, I'm like in this game, I'm a hoarder, guys, so there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, I had to load and all that kind of crap, and, uh, yeah, so... I told my followers to wait. I'll talk about my followers in a minute. Uh, this is, um, Hearthfire Smash, so I did this all legitly, guys. Um, can't really do it non-legitly, I... I use I'm on um, Xbox, so yeah, not PC, sadly enough. Uh, yeah. Let's go to all the, the cool armors that I think are look that look awesome. You guys do not know how hard it was to put these frickin' swords, bows, and etc. in these boxes. That took me so long. I got my arrows here, the cool looking arrows I think look well cool. No, anyways. Um and uh yeah guys there's bunch there's loads of stuff in each of these. Um this whole's just heavy armors. Well I guess no this is light armors I guess. I don't know what the hell I just got lazy and just threw everything in there. Anyways. Um All those heavy armors, yeah, this is where heavy armors go. Then I got my nightingale stuff, which is my one of my favorite armors. I think I'm gonna wear that actually though. I'm a big, I'm one of those weirdos who like, like the appearance of the character to look perfect, which is just weird, but it's what I like, so yeah. Got the assassin stuff, the mage's gear, all that good stuff, um, loads of weapons, 
Uh, just weapons I think look cool, not necessarily weapons that are extremely powerful. Um, these weapons are um, special. Like this one is uh, the one you get from doing the um, what you call it, what you call it, the uh, them, the uh, them, Dawn Guard, the Dawn Guard quest line to the point where you get special weapons. So like this one, if you if you shield block it, it uh, you can put a rune on the on any surface where you block, like you rune bash, and that gives you a really powerful. Uh, Sorry, powerful. Uh, uh, you, you place a rune, which is in a big explosion. Jesus, I'm bad at this. Anyways, so yeah, those are my swords. This is... No, one, one sec. I did this just so it would look cooler, but I just hate it. I can't... I feel like I don't know how far away my arms can reach, and it's just... Where are we going? Depth, that's it. It's just annoying. Okay. Good, good, good. Come on. Thank you. So, this is... um. Dragon Bane. Uh, that's when you get from killing. Uh, um, never mind. Uh, another sword I just think looks cool. Uh, big ass, great sword. Uh, ebony armor. This is Daedric. Um, nice little touches, I think. Look nice. There's the maid. Actually, don't no, sing something. That'd be nice. Yeah. What can I do for uh, you? Make a request, please. Of course. Anything you like. Where's my favorite? I don't know what it's called. Is this it? I guess it. Certainly. It's a fine tune and a good request. Nope, that's not it. Yes. I just remember. Of course. Anything you like. It is Dragonborn comes, I yes. think. Maybe wrong. Anyways. So. Did not put any in there. I. I didn't put anything in the guy. I got lazy guys. But. I tell you. See, now this is a problem. This has always happened. This is annoying. It's like every time I load this save, it gets farther away. Anyways, this is um, Stalrim, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to stop talking because <laughs> this is more just showing you guys what I have done instead of me narrating everything that you're already seeing, which probably gets annoying. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, I'm a hoarder. It's uh, I don't even use any of these. I don't use potions in general in this game. I just use healing stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you get that from the Thieves Guild. Pretty cool looking sword. I like it. Uh, I don't like using it just because I don't think it does enough damage. But that's just me. Again, hoarder. This goes on for a long time. I just collect things. Bunch of jewelry, I think, in this one. Oh, sh yep, jewelry. Bunch of jewelry. Uh, what's in here? Uh, no, not the bolts. Eh. I should put, yep, just that. Okay. Um, that leads outside. It's Skyrim, yeah. This is Dragonbone armor, which you get from getting maxed out smithing. I just found that, lucked out, and got that. Uh, yeah. Okay, can I open these? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Sword. Nothing really special about that. Um, crafting table, yeah. My my favorite part, which is with the thing I, which is the thing I very, the very first thing I upgraded. Wait, one one more thing. I'll show you guys this. It's nothing really, just some. It's like the downstairs, the alchemy. It's yeah, you guys get it. Anyways, my favorite part, which is the thing I very, the very first thing I upgraded, which is the man cave. Boom. Uh, I will edit out all the loading screen, guys. So see you in a sec, because loading screens are ridiculous in this game. Especially when you deck decked out your house as much as I did. Yeah. Alright, we're here, guys. Um, the man cave. Very first thing I upgraded. These are my favorite weapons I keep down here. This looks absolutely beautiful. You get that from the Mage's Quest. You get this from the um, my favorite bow. You get this from the Thieves Guild, which is my favorite quest line, the Thieves Guild. You get this from completing the Dragonborn Quest. Uh, you get this from completing a Daedra Quest. I forget what it's called. But you, I think you get it from... I can't remember what you what you get from. This is a unique um, thing from the Dawn Guard. It's a special axe that you get once you've done enough stuff for them. Um, every time you kill an undead, 
Uh, you, it adds one stack of burn damage, so you can kill like 100 undead and you'll get 100 burn damage. Pretty cool. I like it. But I'm not a fan of axes just because they're a little bit slower. This is my favorite armor in the game, the Thieves' Guild armor, Nightingale. You get it from the Thieves' Guild, I might say. Um, I kind of, yeah, I just went on a rampage, got all the relics. Um, I don't know what any of them do. I like, like I know that Talos gives you shout and all that basic stuff. I never really went in depth to look. I think Mar gives you uh, extra. Now uh, you get this from just picking it up on a shrine, I think. Um, you get the Stalrim bow just from making it. Um, uh, that comes from the Dawn Guard quest. Um, when you're coming, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, you just get it from the Dawn Guard Dawn Guard quest. Um, you can get these, you can get mead from these, which is the alcohol in Skyrim, which my character has never drank any alcohol at all. That sounds douchey. <laughs> I don't know why that matters in the slightest. I'm sorry. That was game cross rather douchey. It's getting dark here. It's, that's a spell. I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you guys like you guys don't know what this game is. You guys, this game's been up for a year. It's game of the year, guys. You guys know what this is. So I'm just going to show you guys this stuff. My safes, they carry valuable minerals that I just don't want to take the time to sell because I'm lazy. A uh, bunch of different jewels and stuff. Uh, I don't, again, lazy. Uh, I, I already have enough money, so I don't really need to do any of that other stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, ores that I just got bored and threw them down there. Or maybe they were there in the f before when I got the house. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's in here. I think just crap. Yeah, random stuff I threw in there. Stuff that I don't want to place on the walls just because it's it's a hassle. Um, ores I think is in this one. Yeah, sometimes the game it locks and you can't like scroll down. So I just move. You just move this and then it lets you scroll down. Um, so yeah, just. Anything that can help build anything, so it's in there. Oh, this is Arvax head. If you do not know what that is, a horse that you get from completing the not completing, but get it get from a uh, Dawn Guard quest when you go into the Soul Cairn. Which I have not played the Dawn Guard quest. It is a void esque place, which is not a shock. It gets mentioned a lot in the quest, so it won't be like a spoiler if I told you that. I don't think. If it is, I'm sorry. Ooh, just burp. That's gross. Um, one thing that makes me mad is that this leads nowhere. Like, where's it looks like an entrance, but it maybe it's if you made like an alchemy lab or something like that, it'd go in there or like a like a I don't know what they call it one of those uh, uh, gardens would maybe go there. I'm not sure, which would make a lot of sense because they need light unless you were f cooking like mushrooms or something like that. Anyways, it does not matter. So um, my favorite. Uh, oh wait, my my character. Um, right now, this is what my character looks like. He is. Um, well, let me tell you guys something. He's not 81, which people are probably going to share on me for. But he, the reason why he's not 81 is because the, very, the best combo in this game is stealth and bow. Or just stealth in general. Don't get me wrong. Magic is great, but that's only for when you're starting off. Magic is amazing until you... But then when you reach like the high highest levels, you start getting your ass kicked because your spells don't dish out, dish out enough damage. But when like your mage beginning, you're a powerhouse. Um, but anyways, um, stealth is crazy good. Um, actually, one of my favorite subs, the people that I'm subscribed to, I watch a lot of their videos. He's my uh, yeah. Um, is named Tranquil, and he makes a big series. And his build was um, a I think he called it a witch. Ah, oh, what was it? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, this is this is weird because I'm I'm like a big fan. I like to watch a lot of his YouTube stuff. So, anyway, his name's Trent Kill, and he made this witch, witch witch hunter. That's it, witch hunter. Um, and it was funny because that was already what my build was. And not not to okay, no, I'm okay, no. This is this is sounding stupid. Basically, he made the witch hunter build, and I uh, I like I was using stealth and bow, but I was also kind of used my uh, knives a little bit, like just getting up and slicing people's knife throats. But uh. Then he made the Witch Hunter build, and he showed how powerful it was. So then I really kind of tailored my character to the Witch Hunter build. So he made like the my build that was decent, amazing, because you know he I kind of just altered it to him. Um, so that's why my character is not that high in level. Is just because he is um, uh, blah, blah, is because I've been using um, stealth and bow all the time. So I haven't really and I've all, and I tried boosting my no and I have boosted my alchemy not alchemy sorry my uh, chanting and. Uh, I'm smithing just to get some of the cool stuff like the Daedric Gauntlets, which I think look amazing. Um, yeah. Cool. Anyways. Um, one thing I wish... Um, oh, wait. Uh, one, yeah, one thing I wish is that there would be a hand-to-hand -hand combat tree, but there's not, which is kind of shit. You can make a build, but it's only really good to um, level 20. Like, the fist-fighting build is only good for level 20. Then once you pass that, you kind of get your ass kicked. Um, but, okay, anyways, guys. I rambled on there. I rambled on a bit there. Um... Uh, let's. I want to show you guys my skill tree. Uh, 
like I said, I'm not 81 just because I've been um, using mostly stealth and archery, so that's the thing I'm kind of excelled in. I'm maxed out on stealth and uh, conjuration just because I like summoning shit. So, yeah. Actually, I don't know why I'm, s I'm maxed out on conjuration. I don't use it. Oh, right, no, I, m I made myself maxed out on that, right. There's a way you can max it out there. I might show you guys later on. What's, what's legendary, I mean? What? No. No, what is that? What is making this skill legendary? We'll set it to 15 and... No, I don't do that. I don't know what that is. Um, That's weird. I'm, I'm, yeah, I've never seen it. The legendary thing. Um, th I think they added a new difficulty which may have been legendary. May that may have just been a mod I've seen. I'm not sure. Um, Anyways. Uh, bah, bah, bah. So, uh, wait, what is that talking about? Right, uh, the things that I maxed out first were basically the only things I use is magic, which is destruction, um, and stealth, and then my bow. I don't use swords that much, but what happened, guys, the reason why I'm level 50, I was naturally level 40 or 30 something, because I just used my combo, then I wanted to get up in my skill level, so I started to boost. Um, so I got uh, I got conjuration to 100, even though I don't use it, but I thought it'd be fun to have just to spawn like a Atronach or whatever. Um, I also got my uh, my sneak uh, my sneak automatically got up just because I use it so much. My archery automatically went up there just because I use it so much. One handed I boosted, so I just basically hit some with daggers that were really low damage for a long time because that's how you boost your one handed um, and block. I don't use heavy blah, blah blah smithing. I also boosted. Um, yeah, that yeah. You don't need to. I don't really care about making stuff like. I don't really want to make uh, Daedric or anything like that because I already found Daedric armor. So I just need to. I was just trying to get it to master. Um, quality or or ex excellent quality or whatever the hell the next tier is. I maxed out my enchanting just because enchanting's awesome. It is badass. I love enchanting. Yeah, you can make your you can basically boost it so you you can make almost master gear like it's it's pretty good. Um, anyways, I'm talking too much about this, but that's just my skills, guys. My destruction, restoration, all that fun stuff is up there, which is nice. One sec, I just want to see some. How much does it take to get this? No, not that. Where is it? That's it. 40. Oh, cool. I can get this one. This one is amazing. I'll let you be just like a powerhouse. I should really get that because that's a good thing. Um, Destruction is pretty powerful. Again, I go for the zaps, the lightning, just because I feel like it's, uh, it, it, it does, you don't have, um, oh, I didn't mention this. I don't know why I'm saying I did it again. Um, I think I rambled on it. Yeah, I cut this out. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, like I said, guys, shock, um, uh, not like I said, but anyways, um, shock um, instead of fire, which which takes time to actually reach this destination, so you can miss very easily. Shock does not. Shock is an immediate impact. As soon as you let go of the spell, it it arrives on its target, which is pretty cool. Um, the frost again, the spike has a delay to it's has a delay when you throw it, uh, so I don't like using that. Um, and yeah, I don't really use anything above uh, adept. I don't use expert with the whole uh, expert spells. I don't usually use that. You just use the uh, basic ones that can stagger the enemy, so I can really just take down their health, keep staggering them. Yeah, you guys get it. Anyways, anyways, illusion I also get just because I like using uh, the invisibility spell, which is extremely handy, um, especially when you're just beginning, like the thieves guild. If you're gonna boost stealth, boost stealth a little bit, then boost illusion to the maximum. Which illusion is really easy. You just use muffle, and then you keep spawning muffle, and then it gets you. you just keep walking around spawning muffle, and it's just amazing. Really good, really good. Uh, so, anyways. Um, yeah, that's how my character's built, guys. That is how he looks as well. Uh, this is his kind of comfort clothes, which is kind of weird to say, or even just, yeah, anyways. So we're going to put on this uh, Nightingale armor, because that's my favorite armor to wear. And, uh, yeah, I'm overweight now, I'm pretty sure. Well, close to, yeah. I got, well, actually, no, I've got a fair bit of stuff to do. Anyways, guys, um, so, like I said, let's, like I said, let's go ahead and do some of the quests that I, oh, wait, I'll show you guys this. Um, these are all the things, in case any guys are interested in that. I doubt you are, but if you are, there it is. Quests I've completed. Um, oh, yeah, and some of the stuff I have in my inventory, I'll show you guys that. Um, weapons, um, I have the thing that helps you mine uh, Stalrim. I got the, my favorite bow, uh, my second favorite bow. Actually, no, this is my favorite bow, just the way it looks. I wish it did more damage, but it doesn't, sadly enough. Um, Blade of Woe, just because I love that storyline, the quest line. Um, yeah. Blade of Woe is extremely easy to make a legendary, by the way, surprisingly enough. It's quite easy. Um, my favorite sword, Children, Frost, funny. Um, anyways, <laughs> no, but it is, I like, I, I carry this with me just because I like the way it looks and the way, just the way it looks and the way it, you know, has a chance to stun people. But the one thing I don't like is that it, um, 
it does no damage. Like I felt it feels like really bad with damage. Com I don't like it and damage wise. So um, I just got a bunch of arrows because arrows don't weigh anything. Might as well carry them. Um, this is my massive powerhouse thing that can like put down enemies quite quickly. Um, yeah. Uh, then there's this, which is my sword that I use uh, pretty much. Well, this is my main sword I use just because it does most of damage. If you read that little thing down there, you. Um, basically, what I did, you get this um, hammer from killing a certain enemy in the Dawnguard DLC that gives you a ridiculous um, enchantment that basically allows you to. Well, you can read it there. Maybe if you can't, the quality's not good. But when you, it has a chance to spark um, fire, frost, or shock um, that does 40% damage. Um, targets that take a point 40. Po ugh, targets like you know how it works. Um, if you take if you zap someone, their magic goes down plus 40% for this one. If you zap, if you if you um, no, if you shock some, yeah, if you freeze someone with this with an ice spike or something, then your their their stamina goes down. You guys get it if you use fire, it's plus fire. You guys get it. Anyways, um, I keep this just because it's fun to kind of mess around with it. and It looks kind of cool. The animation that comes out of it. Um, just arrows again. Uh, cool really good arrows these are really cool if you hit the sun but the only thing I don't like is that they kill your followers they also like beat the shit out of your followers so that's not cool I made another Daedric bow just because uh, it's still not as good as my one but it's still fun to have uh, and yeah this is the most overpowered weapon in the game it constantly knocks back enemies um, like the point where they just hit them and they fall backwards you guys get it um, I might show you guys I'll show you guys all the stuff I'm talking about hopefully if I don't forget um, anyways guys yeah I just wanted to show you guys how much I love this game and how much time I put into it like it is it gets it gets it's crazy I'm starting I gotta take a break <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this like a day or two which it's not that long actually um but anyways this is all these stuff I have um just in case I want to on the fly like switch to mage I can put on my all my mage stuff and just go crazy um oh if you guys want to see my character no I better finish that real quick I don't have any potions really of any use just a bunch of rings that do a different bunch of different things um, yeah, favorite gloves, by the way. Gloves, these gloves look awesome. But, uh, anyways, we're going off topic here. Uh, these are all the spells that I have. Uh, Conjuration, all this stuff. I don't think I'm going to show you guys all these. I'll just, like, quickly do that. So you guys can see the end of it, all the things I have. Oh, one of the coolest spells, though, is this one right here, I think it's called? Yeah. This one is crazy. I'll show you guys that, actually. Um, Conjuration, I got all the spawn, um, Atronox, good stuff. Um, shouts, all shouts. I don't really need to show you guys the shouts, but actually, no, why not? A bunch of different stuff you pick up from doing the Dawn Guard, etc., all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Powers. Um, I'm a werewolf, which is awesome. I don't like being a vampire. I feel like it's annoying as hell. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's probably, it is one of the po most powerful things you can be in this game. Like, 181, when you're a vampire and you max out your character, you are a powerhouse. But I prefer to be a werewolf just because it's, I don't know, it's, I still feel like the were werewolf's really powerful. Anyways. A um, bunch of good stuff uh, here. Dragon, all that good stuff. I'm a Briton, a Breton, so yeah, I like the Bretons. Bre Bretons, my favorite class. I'm not racist against classes, which <laughs> shouldn't matter at all. I don't know why I'm ta talking about this kind of crap. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, uh, that's that was my house. Next episode, we'll be getting into actually doing some things in like the Skyrim world, and I'll talk to you guys about some stuff that I want to just. I don't know. I just want to talk to you guys about. Um, my subscribers and all that kind of stuff. Maybe you guys want to hear about it. Uh, where, it's kind of like what I want to do with the channel and etc. So this is my Skyrim home, guys. I thought it'd be fun to show you guys. Um, and did make a little series out of Skyrim just because I do love this game a lot. To put a lot of hours in it. As you can see, I decorated my house quite a bit. Uh, so, anyways, um, hope you guys liked the video and see you in the next part. We'll actually we'll do something. So adventures in Skyrim. It's probably not doesn't really make sense for this first episode just because we didn't really do anything. But that's okay. But that's okay. Um, also, I will be showing you guys um, hopefully some of these cool animations that I can, or sorry, cuts that I can do in the uh, my new program, Sony Vegas Pro, that I have that can make these cool transitions or cuts, so to speak, that look interesting. Uh, anyways, yeah, guys, uh, see you in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, later, guys.